Now, if you set up a brand new account, it's gonna take time to build an audience to really get to the people you want to get in front of. So what you've got to do is spend the time to look around and try and find the people who are influential in the space you want to be, that have an audience, get in touch with those people, connect with them in any way you can, message them, hope they'll follow you back, tag them in photo, whatever it is, but I'm gonna show you how you can follow the trail, if you like, of the influencers on Twitter. Here we go. Okay, so here's an account with the blue tick next to it. If I click on the profile link there, the blue tick means it's an officially verified account by Twitter. Typically that will be large public organizations, people with celebrity status or expert status in particular fields. The number there you can see in orange, that's because I've got this software called K-L-O-U-T, Clout, installed and that gives you of the influence level. But uh, that's something you'd have to set up and I can talk about that in another video. There's another example of another influential account. So how do you, you know, if, if you want to get in touch say, with media organizations, how do you follow the trail? Because it's immediately popping up with who to follow. There's another uh, verified radio station. Well, I can click on it. And uh, as we've already done, and then we'll click on lists. That's a good, good starting point to see what lists not only that they've created, and not all these accounts will have created lists, but here's some that sort of immediately I've got access to people from the reporting team across the region, but specifically the team for the radio list. And here I can see what lists they're added into. So this really opens up and you'll see straight away how far it is, in fact there's one that I've added to, and I'm at the top there, the most recent list created, but there's lists of radio, Lincolnshire, now not all lists are going to be absolutely relevant, but you know, Lincolnshire Press, Twitter users in the area of Lincolnshire, experts, you can see that there's a theme and what you can do is keep following picking out the best list, going to follow the right people. And over time, you follow a certain number of these influential accounts, some of them are going to follow you back. Now, there's an audience ratio going on here. There's far more followers that they've got than they follow. So you may need to approach it differently. You may need to get their attention in some way, and that can come down to how you engage with them on Twitter. So you can, in a tweet, you can say, great. Well, for example, you can see one of their tweets. Let's pick a, this one about the new pound coin. And I can say, why not retweet it? And add a comment that says, looks. And instead of just tweeting it as it is, retweeting it as it is, I've added a bit of context. And then I've added, a hashtag, a, a popular hashtag that I know of that's used across, the, there's an account actually called at Links Connect, which anyone who tweets using that hashtag will promote to its followers and that's businesses and community organizations in the area. So there's a couple of potential wins there in that tweet. I could tweet a picture And in that picture, I could say who's in this photo, I could tag them into it. And so again, the person who manages that account or the team that manages that account may get a notification that you've been in touch. So it's not about constantly tweeting directly to those accounts because that's disruptive, it's not gonna achieve anything. But it's about A, getting involved with the conversations a little bit, and B, making sure you follow the people connected to them because they've already got the kind of audience you're looking for. If that's what you're targeting, it's gonna be a lot easier. So again, with the example of charity sites, you go to an influencer in that particular space, 
okay they don't have a blue tick but they've certainly got a substantial following they've got lots of lists they obviously engage a lot with people so they like lots of things these are all the clues that you need to look for and these influencers will make life a lot easier if you start to retweet their content well they may well return the favor because it, it's noticeable you know when I get content that's been shared Hopefully I'll see you on a video very soon. So I'm Paul from PR Wilson Media, your social media personal trainer. Cheers.